I am Anil Kumar and here is an interesting question from chapter 7 double angle formula. Given sin square x equals to 8 over 9 where x is between pi by 2 and pi evaluate sin 3x. So what we are given here is that the value of x is in quadrant 2 right sin square x is 8 over 9 so that really means that uh, if sin square x equals to 8 over 9 then sin x should be square root of this right square root so whenever you do square root you have to do plus and minus since x is in quadrant 2 we will be considering only positive root. so that is the whole idea of understanding that x is between pi by 2 and pi so that is kind of very important so here when you do what do you get square root of 9 is 3 but 8 can be written as 2 times 4 so when you write 8 as 2 times 4 we could write this as 4 square root is 2 so we could write 2 square root 2 so that is the value for cos of x correct remember in this quadrant cos i mean that's the value of sine of x cos of x will be negative right so cos x is going to be negative in this particular quadrant right so you can find cos x also cos x will be equals to 1 minus sin square x so sin square x is given to us as 8 over 9 so let me just continue here 1 minus 8 over 9 right so that is I should write cos square x actually so cos square x is 1 minus sin square x which is 1 minus 8 over 9 and that gives you 9 minus 8 over 9 or 1 over 9 correct so cos square x is 1 over 9 the positive value or for cos square x however cos x will be square root of 1 over 9 but since you are in quadrant 2 you have to take negative value so the value for cos x is going to be 1 over 3 with a negative sign so that is very important to understand in this particular question when we are given x is in quadrant 2 right between pi by 2 to pi so somewhere here we have x do you understand well the question which I am solving at present is evaluate sine 3 of x but in this question when we are given sine square x you should also find the values for uh, let me write in a different ink you can find the values for sine 2x cos 2x and other similar ratios correct we will do this part which is find sin 3x now you can find cos 2x cos 3x from the values which we already found they will help you to find these values now let's see how to find sin 3x to find sin 3x we need to develop the formula so sin 3x could be written as sin of 2x plus x and we can expand this so we get sin of 2x cos x plus cos of 2x sin x correct now since we are given sin square x it's a good idea to write cos 2x in terms of sin 2x correct so that will really help us to write it in a similar a simpler form right so what we will do here is we will write sin 2x as 2 times sin x cos x this there is cos x I mean cos x cos x and cos 2x we can write as so we already have cos square x here okay so cos 2x we could write as cos square x minus sin square x so that gets multiplied by sin x so, so now we can open this up so we get 2 sin x cos square x and here we have plus cos square x sin x minus sin cube x correct so we get 3 
2 plus 1, 3 sin x cos square x minus sin cube x, correct? Now from here we can take sin x common, right? So we get, uh, yeah, so we can take sin x common, so we get sin x common and we are left with 3 times cos square x minus sin square x. Anyway, we could have got it from here also. So what I'm trying to say here is we know what is sin square x, we know what is cos square x, we know what is uh, sin x, so we can substitute these values and simplify, right? So that is what we can do. So what we get here is sin x for us is 2 square root 2 over 3, 3 times cos square x is 1 over 9, cos square x is 1 over 9, so 3 times 1 over 9, minus sin square x is 8 over 9, 8 over 9, correct? Now, now we can simplify this, 3 minus 5 is minus We'll do it here. So we got 2 square root 2 over 3 and within brackets this is we'll not simplify it. 3 minus 8 is minus 5 so we'll write minus 5 over 9 that helps and when we open this bracket we get minus 10 square root 2 over 9 times 3 27. So that is the value, the exact value for sine 3x. So that is how we can get it. Well, at this stage, what we could have done is that we could actually write cos 2x in terms of 1 minus sine, 1 minus 2 sine square x, and then also we could have done it. But anyway, either way you do, you are going to get this as your answer. So it is kind of an important question where you have to understand that if you are given sine square x in quadrant 2, then the square root you have to take positive for sine x but negative for cosine x. And when you apply in these formulas and find all other parts, in that case be careful in using minus 1 over 3 for cos x, right? That is kind of critical. And of course when you square sine or cos, you will always be using positive value, correct? So that should help you to answer this question. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.